Leave me be. I want to sleep. Huh? Aha, uh -huh. it's you. I see you look much better. No, I feel much better. Then I heard it was all down to you. Thank you. If you ever need to know about anything that's going on in Sassau, come and see me. There's nothing much happens here without my knowledge. Thomas is my name. Good luck then. You saved me. You've no idea what you've done for me. Oh God, thank you. I didn't do that much. You did more than anyone else here. I'm sorry, I've got no money to repay you. But I can tell you a secret. How workers like me keep up back-breaking labour day after day. I've got those herbs you wanted. Let me see if you have everything. Excellent, you have all the plants. I'll take those from you. And what of the book? Did you remember to bring it? I certainly did. Here it is. Welcome, Henry. Thank you for everything. I'll set someone the task of scraping away the old ink and making the herbarium. It was my pleasure. Good luck, then. Glad to fucking see you, Henry. How do you like it at the mill, Fritz? It's got to be better than the mines. It's worse here than at Scalax. There you could disappear without anyone noticing. But hey. But why would you want to disappear? Nimoy isn't here. <laughs> no, he's not. But the local foreman is an even bigger ass. <laughs> I'm not sure that's possible. You better believe it. I'd like to pay him back for everything and drown him in the river. Drowning? What's he done to you? It was the uh, first or the second day in. Uh, we had a disagreement and I told him off. And then, all of a sudden, we're fighting and that fucker just throws me in the river. I nearly drowned. But how did you get out? I thought you couldn't swim. I can't. They pulled me out. I was up to my waist in water. I see. Well, I'd be pretty fucking angry too. So you want to pay him back? Exactly. I don't give a shit about anything around here, but that bastard's in need of a good trouncing. What about the others at the mill? Are they awful as well? The miller's an old fool. He believes every word that comes out of Thomas's mouth. It's hopeless. And then there's the miller's daughter. She's a pretty lass and kind with it. What can she do? Nothing. Not that it stops Mafia going to see her. But Thomas is the root of the problem. Do you think he's jealous? Is she a sweetheart? He might make puppy dog eyes at her. But most of the time he just struts about like a peacock. I really don't think she's the problem. And what do you want to do about it? Do you think you can come to an agreement? No fucking chance. Matthew hopes so because he likes it here. It's true the work's better than the mines, but the pay's worse. So how do you plan on dealing with it? Leaving? Perhaps. But first, I want to give Thomas a proper trouncing. I mean a real thrashing. And you think that will help? Maybe. Maybe it'll knock some sense into that fat head of his. Or he'll be too frightened to mess with me. That might help.
So why don't you arrange a fight with him? If we win, he'll leave us alone. Oh, we could... What? We could lure him off someplace far away and then wait for him. Maybe to play dice with Lawrence. He would have to go through the dark woods. Mm. I'll think about it. The monastery wants you to pay for treatment. That doesn't sound right. Leave it be, Howell. I won't. What happened? We... might have pummeled his face. Uh, but don't get involved, Henry. We'll settle it on our own. Wait, who exactly did you pummel? Well, he kept on bothering us and... Uh, in a nutshell, it was his fault and we're not going to talk about it anymore. But couldn't there be a way to settle it? Maybe he'd let you off the... There isn't. All right, if you say so. I still want to ask you more about Thomas. I spoke with him briefly and he doesn't seem so horrible. Then you ought to try working with him. He's a sneaky bastard and arrogant. You should see how he puffs himself up when he's off to play dice with Lawrence. Who's Lawrence? Another mill hand? Aye, but at the neighbouring mill. They call him the Wren. Damned if I know why. Thomas goes there to play dice with him. I want to get better at fist fighting. Certainly. I'd like to hone my skills. First you have to have some skills to hone. Well, I'll think it over. God be with you. Hey, Henry. I've heard you don't have it easy here. So you spoke to Fritz then? I bet that wasn't quite how he put it. <laughs> no, not quite. Apart from Thomas's name, the rest was mostly swear words. I can imagine. I've been hearing the same from him all week. The foreman here is a pain in the arse. He's trying either to wear us to the bone or force us to leave. Vagabonds. Slackers. Always forcing you to work, is he? If only. That wouldn't be so awful. But nothing we do is good enough for him. There's always some reason for him to yell at us. I can imagine. You know what it's like. We do too little, and it takes us too long, and what we eat's worth more than the work we've done, and it's no fun listening to that sort of shit day after day. And the miller won't stick up for you. I would have thought all the yelling would drive him mad. Not really. He trusts that loudmouthed bastard more than us. He's got us down for a pair of parasites. I see. What's so stupid is the mill really needs us. They haven't had any hands here for quite a while, and the mill needs a lot of fixing. But with them around, we can't even get to work. And you definitely don't... You don't ever provoke him? I've already told you once, he's an arsehole. I'd say there's nothing we can do about it. If he wants to yell at us, he'll yell at us. Have you tried talking with him? What do you think? But that just sets him off. He starts saying we're practically bandits, and what he's going to do about it. That gets Fritz going, and he starts yelling too, and... Hmm. I'd never have guessed he's like that. Well, get a job here as a hand, and you'll soon see. And what does he do during the day? Does he work with you? <laughs> Good one. He keeps his eye on everything, but his hand only touches the saw when the miller shows up, which isn't that surprising. Why? The last time he did anything, he almost took his thumb off with a chisel. I wouldn't put an axe in those paws of his either. So, he's clumsy and arrogant. That's what you said about your last master, that Nimoy. Aye, but at least you could sneak away from old Nimoy for a bit. No chance of that around here. And what do you want to do about it? Just run away? Actually, I'd like to stay here. At least for a bit. I never would have thought I'd like working in a mill. But not with him around. It's unbearable. And there's no one I can complain to. But you could. Me? 
Do you think they'll listen to me? They did once already, didn't they? They hired us because of you. You could have another word with them. Well, back then, making promises was enough. Now, it will be worse. You can forget about the miller. It's Thomas you need to convince. The miller takes his opinion seriously. So, will you do it for us? Again? Fine. I'll try and talk to him. <sighs> I'm glad. But try not to get on his wrong side. You won't get anywhere with him then. I'll keep that in mind. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Satisfied? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Agreed. Now listen up. Goodbye. <laughs> health to you. So what do you think about the workers I brought you? If I hadn't put in a good word for them, the miller would have thrown them out by now. I heard them say something else. So they're complaining, are they? <laughs> I provide for them and all they do is slack off. Isn't it the miller who provides for them? He can't manage the work anymore. If it weren't for me, there'd be nothing left standing around here. But you need the help anyway. And they're pretty handy. Maybe. But they're in no danger of overworking themselves. They act like they're too good for the mill. And I saw them eyeing up Jane. Nothing strange about that. She's a pretty girl. And she's of an age to marry. It's not marriage they've got on their minds. They'd have their way with her, then before her belly started to grow, they'd have run for the hills. Look, we can reach an agreement. You need the mill fixed, they need the money. If they have peace to do their work, they'll be able to finish it faster. But... And then they'll take their groschen and leave. The mines will open again, and the faster they get their money, the quicker they'll be gone. But do you really think I can trust them to do it? Will they do their work and leave? And leave Jane alone in the meantime? Of course. They're not interested in the mill. They just need the coin to pay their debts. Once they've got enough, they'll have no reason to stay here. I never thought we could sort it out this way. I've known them for a long time, and you can rely on them when it comes to this. Everybody will be better off. All right. If they keep their part of the bargain, I'll even give them a few extra groschen. But woe betide them if they don't. You can tell them that. God be with you. Hey, Henry! It took some doing, but I made a deal with him. I'm glad to hear it. So we can stay here? He'll leave us be? He'll leave you alone, but there are conditions. Once you finish your job, you'll vanish from here. But you'll get an extra groschen or two for your troubles. And that's it? I thought... Oh, never mind. Oh, and you're to stop dallying with the miller's daughter. Keep on mucking about with her and you'll muck things up for yourselves. The fucking bastard! He can go fuck himself! He'd better give us enough groschen to make it worth it. But I suppose I should thank you. You may have bought us some peace and quiet, and that's better than nothing. Here's something for your help. Take care.
Thank you. You wouldn't happen to know about a brawl that happened here not long ago. Apparently it involved two carpenters who were being treated here. And they were fighting with a monk? <laughs> with a monk? Too bad I didn't see that. <laughs> God be with you, Henry. Tell me more about the situation here. All right, that's all I need to know. That custodian, Sebastian, is really obnoxious. He can be unpleasant, but in his own way, I don't know. You can't be serious. What's that supposed to mean? At least he was here, unlike you, the whole time. And anyway, mind your own business. God be with you. Henry! How are the sick and wounded faring? I don't think there's anything more I can do for them. I know. And you helped the best you could. All we can do now is pray for the souls of the departed. Good luck, then. For the love of God, what have you been doing? You wouldn't happen to know what Fritz and Matthew did here, would you? Don't even talk to me about that. They weren't badly injured compared to most of the others here. And after lying in bed for a while, they got bored. So they started drinking. I'm trying to help people in dire need, and the two of them are drinking! With that cretin, Elias. They always have been thoughtless, but at least they were punished for it. Who is this Elias, anyway? One of the ordinal monks who helps out here. He was the one who brought the booze. All three of them got friendly pretty fast. You know what they say about birds of a feather. And do you know what got between them? I don't have a clue. One minute they're the best friends in the world, and then a lot of yelling and furniture flying around. They threw Fritz and Matthew out straight afterwards. What kind of person is this Elias? Mm, a timid kind of fellow. And why is he being so hard on Fritz and Matthew? They're drowning in debt because of him, and it seems all they have was a small fight. I don't know. He was the one who wanted to befriend them in the first place. I don't believe it's because of any property damage they did. It's got more to do with wounded pride. Thank you. That's all I need. How about the sick and injured? I don't suppose there's so many now. Perhaps. Though it's very slow progress. And since the construction started, we've constantly had men coming in with bruises and cuts. That's how it goes with building work. It's easy to get hurt. Now we have one who was hit on the head by a fallen stone. He's good as dead, but still breathing. They say the stone blocks are bad. They brought them from Townburg, and I heard other things are going on around the site as well. well. What can be worse than stone blocks falling on people's heads? I just heard some rumours. They're saying the whole construction site is cursed. A skull was found there, and people think it belonged to the devil. One labourer already ran away. That's interesting. Maybe I should ask around. The master builder won't tell you anything, but brother overseer might. God be with you. I heard you had a fight with Fritz and Matthew. Heathens. So it was you they fought with? Yes, it was me. And I hope I'll never have to see those wastrels again. They deserve to be ousted, but the debt? How are they ever going to pay it? I really don't care. Let them live in penury. Brutes. Isn't that a little unchristian? You wouldn't want personal spite to ruin their lives, would you? Well, those were just idle threats, really. If they come and apologize, there's always a possibility of forgiveness. God be with you.
Good day to you. I'd like to look at the place where the accident happened. Do I have your permission to enter the construction site? And what's your interest in this matter? This is not the first accident, and I'm afraid it won't be the last. These things happen. There's no cause for investigation. But if the stone was actually poor quality, then there should be consequences, shouldn't there? Consequences? Yes, maybe. Oh, very well. Talk to the master builder, and he'll tell you more. Thank you. But be careful. Don't interfere in their work and don't get in the way. <laughs> or you're likely to end up with a broken head yourself. May the Lord watch over you. Oh, God damn it, my stomach hurts. God be with you. The overseer sent me. You're to show me the place where the accident happened. <sighs> like I've got time to spare to show you round. He should have done it himself. Why do you want to know, anyway? And have you noticed anything else going on? Of course. It's a construction site. Things are always going wrong. The men are always complaining and the work isn't being done fast enough. <laughs> so it's just like any other building work? Essentially, yes. Occasionally someone brings in bad wood or a man cuts off his thumb and blames it on a bad omen. And then there's all these rumours going round. I'd be interested to know what the men talk about. Who's been stealing? Which men from the monastery go to visit women? How the work's going? Normal things. It's only the talk about the curse that's not in the normal run of things. And then there's that devil's skull they dug up. You talked about the devil's skull? I did. They say it was found in the hole dug for the foundation of the scaffolding. They moved it so it would do its harm elsewhere. But I wasn't there to see it, so I don't know. And who might know more? Shouldn't you be investigating the stone? Leshek's in charge of the scaffolding, so ask him if you really have to know. He might tell you something. Who's stealing? Could someone be stealing the stone? According to the rumors, everyone from the abbot and the custodian down to the lowest laborer. It's like with whores and dice. There's no protection against slander. And something gets lost here and there, that's true. But nobody stole any stone. There wouldn't be any left if every man here started helping himself, would there? Because of the Talmberg stone. If they really are delivering poor quality material, then there should be consequences. I'd be interested in what kind. <laughs> but I'm guessing the Overseer likes the idea of cheaper stone, right? Where's the scene of the accident? It didn't happen on the main site. It was at the outbuilding next to the church, right under the long stairs before the entrance door. Ask my assistant who's in charge there. You'll easily recognize him. He dresses up like he owns the place. God be with you. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. I heard you found something. It's true. I dug it up during work. I then ran away with it and got rid of it so the others wouldn't see. But rumors spread anyway. And what was it that nobody was supposed to see? What do you think? A demon skull. Here. On holy ground. In the middle of the monastery. But it was outside the monastery walls. Where, exactly? 
Is there anything else there worth seeing? Nothing but scaffolding. We started digging there to set foundations for extending it. And are you sure it was a devil's skull? I know what I saw. I can recognize a human skull. And this one had horns. Like the devil, besides. That thing gave off a diabolical stink. And where is it now? What did you do with it? I... I was taking it down to the river to throw it in. Only, I dropped it at the top of the slope and it rolled downhill. The devil alone knows where it ended up. Hmm. I'll see if I can find it. May the Lord watch over you. The stone fell on him here. You can still see the marks. This has to be the stone that hit him. I'll take a piece of it. Maybe someone will recognise it. looks genuine, but I'm not capable of judging. Jesus Christ be praised. I found this skull. People are saying it's the skull of a demon, but I don't know. It certainly looks like it, with the horns and all. Well, let's see. Those are deer antlers that someone's fixed to this human skull. It's not a devil, just a bit of devilry. I'm glad to hear it's not the real thing. Someone must have put it there deliberately, knowing that's where they were due to dig. And they put a lot of work into it, too. The horns are held on tight, even though it was lying in water. Whoever did this was skilled bugger, and no mistake. <laughs> I hope I can be of some humble service to you. The skull is a fake. Someone fixed horns on a human skull. But where would they get a human skull? And why would they do it? Maybe to frighten the workers? Raise the price? But that wouldn't help anyone. It had to be some idiot's idea of a prank. An idiot who was nearly responsible for getting a man killed.
there's even more of the bad stone up here. I hope the rest of it won't be falling on people's heads too. My respects to you. Did you see the accident that happened here? I didn't see it. I Did you notice any- No, I didn't. All I saw was a man with his head caved in. God be with you. God be with you. Here's the cursed stone that caused so much damage. It's old and weathered. But this isn't my stone. What? Well, this stone isn't from my quarry. See the grain? That's not from the weathering. The stone is from somewhere else. God be with you. I looked around, and the stone that fell on that man is different from the rest. Yes, it's very poor. But we have to work with what we've got. We didn't have anything else, and we couldn't wait for more. That's not what I meant. It's not the same kind of stone that came from Talmberg. Someone must have switched it. But why would anyone do that? Well, maybe he was stealing new stone and replacing it with old stuff. Or to sabotage the construction, I don't know. But the carriage never moved. It rained a lot and we couldn't get any work done, or we'd have been up to our ankles in mud. So someone had to take it out without being seen? That huge piece of rock. It would take a few strong men to shift something that size. I know you're trying to help, but someone would have noticed. It couldn't be done without anyone seeing it. God be with you. God be with you. Who's in charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery. But those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well? Yes. But usually, whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes. It rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. I went to take a look at the site of the accident, and the last stone is different from the rest. And isn't that because it's bad? I don't know much about masonry, but that would be my guess. No, I don't think it's just that. It looks different from all the other stone they'd used in the construction. So you're saying someone replaced the block in the carriage and no one noticed? <laughs> that carriage sat right by the gate, 
and the gates guarded to change it right under our noses would be quite a feat. This is the block that fell on him. And what am I supposed to see? I don't know anything about stone. This stone isn't from Talmberg. Someone must have switched it. Someone from here? We have guards and a wagon full of stone isn't something you can haul around single-handed. I'm telling you, it's not from the Talmberg quarry. I'll find out who's behind it. I found the head they dug up near the scaffolding. And what about it? Someone put it there on purpose. And the horns are fake. They were stuck on. It's definitely nothing to do with the devil. So someone really is plotting against us. But what does he hope to gain from it? I don't know. But I'll try to find out. God be with you. You know the head they found near the scaffolding? What about it? Someone put it there on purpose. After they stuck horns on it to make it look sinister. <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to do. Who's responsible? And where did he find the skull? I don't know, but I'll try to find out. Have you seen Leszek, the scaffolder? I saw him. What do you want with him? I want to talk to him about the head he dug up. Really? That's interesting. Why? He asked me to meet him on the scaffolding tonight, so he can tell me something important. Said he wanted to confess something. So he did have something to do with the skull? I knew it. Maybe. But I'd wager someone made him do it. He doesn't seem the type to come up with something like that on his own. I'm planning to go and meet him. Will you come with me? It will be safer with the two of us. I'll go. Very well. We'll meet at night. If I'm not down at the bottom, then look for me at the top. All right. you everything. Who are you? I, I'm just a worker here. He, he told me that if I take care of you, then he'll forgive my debts. I, I didn't want to, but he forced me to do it. Who sent you? It, it was the master builder's helper. He, young Smola. What? He was supposed to be here as well. He isn't. He went to the mill nearby when he found out Leshak was hiding out there. Fuck! What am I supposed to do with you? You tried to kill me. I was aiming to miss. On purpose. I wanted to scare you off and, and then say I missed. D don't kill me, please!
Fine, but I don't want to see you here again. Thank you. What the hell are you doing? That's Leszek, isn't it? Yes, it's him. I found him. And now I'm taking him to the Sawbones. I'd say he's dead as a doornail. You killed him, didn't you? Not at all. Look, he's still breathing.
God be with you. It was young Zmola. What? Zmola's the one responsible for all the thefts and death. He tried to kill me and Leshek and God knows who else. Sweet Jesus. Where is he now? Dead. I killed him in self-defense. So is that the end of it, do you think? It looks that way. Leszek was helping him, but he's dead. So things should settle down from now on. God bless. Even so, we'll have to reconsecrate the monastery. May the Lord watch over you.